Good morning. It's Friday, May 8th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Trust, and our scripture is Psalm 31. Pull me from the trap my enemies set for me, for I find protection in you alone. I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me, Lord, for you are a faithful God. If there's one thing about a word written in sand on a beach, come the next tide, those letters will have given way to a clean slate. When trust is swept away, the slate is anything but clean. Whatever relationship is left when trust has been violated and trampled upon, that relationship will be muddy and tenuous at best. The uncertainty of whether trust can ever be restored is something that must have eaten the inner fabric of Apostle Peter's stomach lining. In the early darkness of Friday morning outside Pilate's house, Peter had denied being Jesus' friend and follower. To underscore his trust-breaking lie, he did it three times and he even cursed that he'd ever even known the man. When the rooster sounded after Peter's third denial, reminding the apostle that Jesus had known his friend would betray him, Peter disappeared into the darkness, weeping bitterly for his unfaithfulness. He had broken trust with the best friend, best man he'd ever known. Knowing our inner nature sometimes makes it hard to trust. We know what we're capable of, and we project that unfaithfulness on others. Yet, in today's scripture, the psalmist offered the spirit of his life, all of his hopes, his dreams, the calendar for today, the labor for tomorrow, into the hand of this unseen God. And then, perhaps with the hesitation of a man who knows how fickle men can be, declared God to be faithful, a loving God of forgiveness, faithfully extending his loving care to anyone's penitent heart despite the nature of a sinful man who doesn't deserve being forgiven. Scripture tells us that later, after the resurrection, when Jesus met his disciples on the beach for breakfast, Jesus made certain that Peter understood just how resilient the trust was between them. Jesus asked Peter three times if Peter really did love him. It must have been agonizing for the fisherman to have to face the memory of his past betrayal while Jesus was on trial. And to do so now with any meaningful declaration of love for Jesus probably felt like a really disingenuous apology. But Jesus followed the Q&A with an invitation that was ironclad and sealed with blood, a reminder that Jesus would trust Peter. He simply said, follow me. And history reminds us, Peter did. For you today, whatever trust you may have broken with God or with any other human being, the same hand of forgiveness that was extended to Peter is willing to accept your heart's repentance. He forgives. It's that simple. We repent, and the assurance of our heart is that he trusts us. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.